You know, I referee lacrosse and football, and I'm getting around all these areas, and it's terrible. Yeah. I go down towards Alfred College. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I go right back. What's the latest on the, um, oh God, uh, what's that guy's name? The, the monkey guy in the. Um, oh, you know, he's yeah. still out there. Yeah, I haven't heard much lately, so I don't know if. Uh, he, you know, it, it'll take a look. Presty. Presty. Yeah. 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 He's, what, you know, what he's trying to do is, um, um, he's trying to. I don't know if you remember, yeah. Senator Mazier's, there was some money out there, and and, and Senator Woman, meaning and some change, to put that bird habitat over there, just sure. there, right? Yeah, yeah. Right? And what they wanted them to do was, um, pass a bill that said you couldn't do pheasant hunting okay. in western New York. Right, right. You know, neither one of them were going to touch that. Sure. So they said, well, we're not going to build it then. So, and this is the other thing, we, you know, uh, we're trying to create a fishery advisory board in Wilson because we understand what sport fishing is to us. And from that board, we want one of the individuals to take our concerns and our voice to the county board, and which then takes it to the state board. Yeah. Um, so right presently, we just sent out a newsletter that anybody interested in to become part of that, we want to start this advisory board. Because what's happening is they're trying to get they did free up, Major has free, freed up some money to do a study along the lake here mm -hmm. to bring in a fishery, a hatchery, mm -hmm. fish hatchery, like they have in the upper state of New York. So somewhere along from Youngstown right on up to Somerset, they want to build a fish hatchery. And they want to get $500,000 that was left over from that event there to build that other bird sanctuary. Mm -hmm. And he's trying to get the other money, Preston to build his okay. whatever primate sanctuary. Mm -hmm. So that's for that money out there and he's angling to get that and you know, that's where your fish fishery board's angling to get the other one. Right. Wow. So we don't like primates as much as birds. Okay. Yeah, so we, you yeah, know, yeah. we'll see. My boss. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it is. So he stops every yeah, day. Under, yeah. under share of Muscarel. Tell me you can save a lot of money if you subscribe, but <laughs> he's always putting fifty cents in the box. Is he? Yeah. Some habits are hard to <laughs> yes, that's fine. But um, you know, we're trying to get that and so he you know, he's building a new home there. Right. But he hasn't applied for any permits or any of that other kind of stuff. He's he's just got a concept in the place. You yeah. Know? Huh. You, know, I, I, you know, I'm open minded to it, but I told him, I've had some discussion with him, I'm opposed to anything that he builds mm -hmm. being uh, tax exempt. Right, right, right. You know, He's talking about building 12,000 square feet. Yeah, yeah, wow. And he wants to be a tax example. Yeah. You know, there's no way to build something. Right. Not a million years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, what's done inside of this tax? So be it. Now, whereabouts is it that he's. Where um, it's right on Youngstown, uh, Wilson Road. I don't know if you're familiar. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you familiar where Dan Woods and Farm is? Kind of. Well, that farm is there and they're over here. Okay. It's kind of like a kitty corner. Right? It's, All right, it's, so it's, yeah. mm -hmm. away. Yes, not even an eighth of a mile away from each other. You know? So really that would be the closest residence. You would be near them and be the farm. There, there are, there's a road, there's a road over there called Fitch Road. Okay. And there's some higher end homes there. Oh, really? Uh, that we are getting some resistance from even, huh? even before, uh, um, you know, just from what they hear. Right, 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 right. So, you know, they're going to be a concern. Um, okay. And, you know, there's, our, our, there's a tremendous amount of concerns. And, you know, we have concerns with the growth of uh, the trailer parks. You know, right, right. It's going to do to our school system, and, you know, that kind of stuff, the area of residents. Mm -hmm. You know. How, how do you rein all that in, whether it's that or whether it's the growth we were talking about earlier in our conversation? I know we just had the Pendleton supervisor candidate in. And he's just talking about how the, that town needs a plan for controlling, you know, the, the growth from the cities to the suburb, from the cities to the rural areas. Um, do you guys have a plan in place? And, no, well, that's you know, the problem. Yeah. Because our master plan is nineteen. I guess yeah, that's, because that might take some work. But I mean, do you have something more immediate than that? Because that master plan is probably not going to happen overnight. No, you and, know what I mean. Uh, and that, all these people keep moving or building, and you know, it's happening quicker. Well. Than, well the new bills that we have coming down, like we just um, some of the problems that I recognize yeah. on the board was people were you know they didn't have the fill, so they were digging ponds and using that 
and bring their lass up to kill them. And then they get their plans. So, you know, I says to the plan board, I said, look, I don't want people to be building plans and using that dirt as fill. And then we're stuck with this big hole mm -hmm. that, you know, somebody could get hurt. Yeah. You know, you have a mosquito problem, you got a little bit of everything. Yeah. So I asked them, I asked them, Chairman of the Planning Board to work on a plan in regards to, you know, right. a pond, what we can do to put it back in the farmers and make a farm plan, mm -hmm. which we have a plan in place, and there's just a couple of small little wrinkles before we make it, you know, local law and add it to our books. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, for the most part, you know, they got, we, you know, we got a pretty good code in the place, and, okay. you know, it's got to be. There's got to be you know, so the variances are there and the, yeah. you know, the zones there. Yeah, they yeah. got to go through all that. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have no big development coming in because we don't have no sewage. Right, so we right. Have to, we don't have to worry about them. Yeah. But you got people digging on their own. It's just worried about these renegade, uh, you know, developers who move in and do the work themselves and never tell the town that it's happening or you know the resident starts digging ditches or whatever they're doing. Just, yeah, we don't. Have it's happening so quickly you can't rein it in, you know. But uh, doesn't sound like it's that bad yet. Just, I don't, we don't have that. Yeah, yeah. That's, good. that's good. You know, our growth is it's growing, but it's it, it, it's stable it's slow, yeah. stable yeah. growth. Yeah. Okay. You know, I mean, we don't have the farmers like they have a wheat field selling the property out to these developers. Yeah, right? exactly. That, right, you know, right. And using that for the retirement. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's what's happening. It's happening in Pendleton, and eventually it's going to happen in Kansas. That's a thought. Yeah. And it's yeah. going to come to us, and that's why you know, Supervisor Hornberg and I have talked. You know what? We're going to have to sit down and figure something out. You know, I've talked with, you know, one of the things I'd like to do in the future, and yeah. it's going to take some time, too, because change is tough. And, right. And, um, um, and that's, we have a village in the town. Right, right. And I've been trying to get into a shared service with our highway department. Mm -hmm. If we can get, get them highway departments mm -hmm. working, merged, the rest of it's easy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a highway department, and now is the best time for the town because we have three, three guys in our highway department that are right there, ready to retire. Yeah. So now is the best time. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Now is the best time of any any time to right. get into a shared service with them. And there's a tremendous amount of money out there and grant money to be able to do it as far as equipment. I mean, they have a brand new backhoe. We have a brand new backhoe. Right. Right. You yeah. know. Now. There's a sitting, ours is working, you know, or, you know, why do you need all this equipment? That's a hard sell, trying to get people to there. Yeah. And I've been working and I've been working and I've been yeah. working it. And, but it takes time. Yeah. You know, people are protective of their village. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Well, you have a mayor who calls them, they'll get medical insurance. Right. But, you know, it's costing them. It's not the $12,000 a person yeah. for medical insurance, and they meet once a month. Right. They meet in the afternoon, and they do their workshop, and then they come back at night and have a meeting. And that's the kind of money that's costing the taxpayers. It's ridiculous, but, you know, it's time. Yeah. It's yeah. time, but um, we'll see. You know, that's, that, that, that's going to be one of my goals, you know, especially if I'm successful if, if the four-year term passes. Because mm -hmm. then that allows you the time to work on that agenda. Right. You know, and two years don't allow you that time. It right. just don't. Mm -hmm.